a long-lasting legacy for the man credited with developing the city of Glendale. Our Desmond Shaw goes over the history of Brand Park and the Brand Library in tonight's <laughs> Look at This. Well, take a look at this. It is Brand Park and the Brand Library at the base of the Verdugo Mountains in the city of Glendale. This actually started off as the estate of a man that was known as the father of Glendale, Leslie Coombs Brand. Made most of his money in real estate, actually worked with the Huntington family to bring the electric rail line to Glendale from Los Angeles uh, in the early 1900s when only about 550 people lived in Glendale. He also owned the Water and Power Company, later sold that to the city, and he even owned a telephone company, which actually established a lot of the telephone lines in Glendale. And so with all that money, Money. On 31 acres, he built this estate known as Miradero, which means viewpoint or vantage point. A lot of locals knew this as Brand Castle. So Mr. Bram, quite the avid aviator. He actually had an airplane hangar and an airstrip on his property. He would host fly-in parties with all the biggest silent film stars of the day, as well as all of the most important local uh, dignitaries. When he passed away in 1925, he wanted this all to be left to the city to be used as a park and a library with the stipulation that his wife could live in the main house till the end of her days, and she did until she passed away in 1945. Then this all opened to the public in 1956. This exhibition hall and art gallery was opened in the 1960s. Everything was closed down for uh, about 10 years ago for a big earthquake retrofit to make the property handicap accessible and to restore it to its former glory back in the days when Mr. Brand lived there. These days it serves as kind of a cultural hub for the city of Glendale, all sorts of exhibitions. Uh, there are performances as well and film screenings, just to name a few. You can get more information on all that at brandlibrary.org. They have quarterly tours, and the library is open Tuesday through Saturday. The wider park is very lovely as well. Lots of good picnic areas, dog-friendly, and you also have the gateway to the Verdugo Mountains. Lots of excellent hiking trails here to enjoy as well. Thanks to Joan Rogers for telling me to check out Brand Park and the Brand Library. Taking a look at this from Sky Cow, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.